What's up guys? It's Travis here at Everything Attachments. We're wrapping up another awesome week here at the factory. Didn't quite make a video last week. Uh, blown away by the number of people who uh, on the phone ordering told me they missed it. Uh, people saying they get off work and go home look forward to it. I yeah, all I know is y'all do a good, good job of making some stuff up. Cause that surely, uh, I, I don't think this is worthy of everyone's attention. But uh, I'm incredibly humbled by the comments I've been getting. Um, got our second shift. It's been fired up all week. So we we have some great uh, guys. Ryan, you know our just all-star welders going into second shift so we have a nice skeleton started we're gonna fill in some slots on first and second hopefully up this production but uh, you can rest assured that you're still you're gonna get the best when you choose EA that's uh, there's no doubt about it so just check out these post hole digger booms I mean got the adjustment holes there look at those welds it's artful we have here this is our land shark I've mentioned it a few times but this is the <laughs> there it blows any subcompact or small compact tractor post hole digger just out of the water ever made I'm not talking about on the market now I'm talking about ever made just we have the new uh, design has the hoop up over the boom so you'd have to go to our website to kind of see it even the photos aren't totally updated on our website but gives a small tractor like the bx the little 1025 john deere uh little ls mahindra max uh, you name it all those tractors you have the most lifting leverage with this post hole digger out of any and it's the best for the tractor's health doesn't put all that added stress because you put a full size boom look how long that boom is on the back of a subcompact and that's what you're going to find only uh on a much cheaper flimsier scale if you go to the dealer or tractor supply but look at the difference in this boom and those full size booms you stick an auger that far back on a tiny tractor you're asking for trouble you're asking for it to get stuck in the ground or even worse rip out the rear end uh, the housing at your top link of your tractor right here these are our extreme pulverizers you see the check out those rollers spikes where they need to be got those hard ox 450 hard ox you know that stuff i talk about it often most premium wear resistant abrasion resistant that's key in this application because you're going to be digging those in the ground you want something that's going to last so why not put the best on there right here that's our extreme 30 to 70 box blade just the just an amazing design there roll on through here uh, getting kind of a late start on the video so about 20 after when I got started about time to go grab a pizza so we will I always say I'm gonna roll through quick and end up taking longer but right there's our heavy-duty skid steer plate so yeah you can buy cheaper than that as well but I mean this grade 50 steel laser cut look at those welds I mean there's a reason things are cheap and there's a reason things are more expensive and if you know what you're what you're looking at what you're buying it's a no-brainer that nothing even comes remotely close to this kind of stuff right here this is our extreme 60 inch brush cutter bush hog rotary cutter 
there's about 10 different names for them but uh that thing it'll be quick hitch compatible we got the chain guard option now on the brush cutters that's a that's something that people have been asking for we're delivering there's some more of those post hole digger booms saw ryan welding on these land shark heavy duty that's our landscape rake and scrape blade heavy duty with some hydraulic options it takes a pretty good tractor for those how about this uh that's our extreme duty we call it it's a long long phrase so extreme duty deluxe large frame box frame disc arrow see how solid that is our tubes are capped off solid welded all the way around this thing will have a screw type adjustment it's a category one and two so when i say screw type adjustment you want to make it a little more or less aggressive all you have to do get off your tractor turn the crank a few times those gang hangers change the angle just right on the fly you don't have to have any tools just get off and do it get back to work no busted knuckles right there we have some nice looks like the uh severe extreme landscape rake tubes landscape rake scrape blade right there some extreme duty scrape blade that's the three point mounts right here in front of me too look at that it's got the stand built in cat one two it's got that elongated hole right there for more float all right so we're gonna we we'll see what they got cooking back here. I'm going to show you one of these naked, wicked 66s, okay? That's a naked, wicked 66, 660-pound root rate grapple. Just getting ready for a bath. Going to get some paint. When she's done, going to look like this right here. That's a wicked 66 next to a wicked 55 so the wicked 55 batch of a hundred is getting uh wrapped up the first batch of a hundred a lot of them painted waiting for shipping got a little bit of a bottleneck in the assembly right now so if you're waiting on a wicked 55 just know that we have the first batch of a hundred it's being wrapped up we're getting ready to follow that with another batch of a hundred so we are working very very hard here just doing what we can to get just feed this uh incredible wicked monster we have created it uh it blows my mind guys just all day long they call they want to order one of these wicked grapples because they do the research they do <laughs> they ask the questions on facebook all the groups on facebook it's uh i mean some guys do the research read the reviews don't even have to ask but when it's asked in the facebook groups on tractor bonnet and the forums everything points to ea that's and <laughs> There's no conspiracy behind it. We don't have paid, uh, besides myself, uh, but we don't have paid guys out there, you know, representatives and saying how great EA is because we're paying them off to, to make some videos. Uh, all the feedback and recommendations with EA is because we have a special bond with our customers. They're they're part of our family and we treat them right uh, we give them the best we give them the best service after the sale if needed communication whatever there's people here answering the phone so how about this look at it wicked tooth bars yeah i know a few y'all waiting on this let's check out a few numbers real quick for you check it out 
Just gonna roll through here, hanging fresh out of paint. We've got Ronnie. He ain't ready to be Facebook famous. He's he's tiptoeing around this camera. Said his daughter's been looking at the videos, so I have to give him a little shout there. Check out your numbers for the Wicked Tooth Bar. That's another thing. There ain't nothing like it. Wicked Tooth Bar gets gets some orders all day long. I made that video in the EA channel, Everything Attachments channel, Facebook group. Put a link to it on our website if you if you want to know how to measure for the tooth bar. I give you just a hands-on how to make it easy. Don't be intimidated. This is simple here. It's simple, just three simple measurements. You will have the best chunk of premium serrated laser cut steel to enhance your tractor bucket I mean it's we're only talking uh, just a few hundred dollars free shipping right to your house and you'll be amazed at what this wicked tooth bar will do for your tractor as far as the ability to dig rip up roots vine saplings I mean the don't get me wrong the wicked grapple it was also amazing for that and they the use may uh, cross paths but there's things that you'd rather have a tooth bar for than the grapple and obviously uh, quite a few reasons that you'd rather have a grapple than a tooth bar but I tell you what if you have them both then you got some serious wickedness going on there at your disposal so uh, Y'all know I've talked about our pallet forks. Look at that hard ox shining. Look at this. Solid. Continuous welds everywhere. You know, pallet forks. There's some cheap ones out there. There's some Chinese ones out there. But uh, there's the best right here. How about it? That is... That's the wicked compact box blade. Compact tractor box blade. You'll pay for this about what you pay for maybe a land pride. Maybe a little bit more than you pay at tractor supply. But uh, I'll tell you, anybody that knows what they're looking at knows that neither of those places or a lot more places no they don't have anything to even even should be mentioned in the same sentence as this right here so uh check there's the uh mold boards for that heavy duty land shark scrape blade i was talking about with the hydraulic options we're gonna roll back through here we'll look at uh look at the assembly area see what's happening real quick and then we'll roll up through the welding line just to see how the guys left it. See you, Ronnie. Yeah, you can turn those lights out. Thank you, sir. Ronnie going to turn some lights out over there. I'll take you over here. Look at this. That looks like a 96-inch severe extreme landscape right from here. The one, you know, I showed you the hitch over there at the beginning. So... Right there is what she'll look like, ready for some EA decals, some wrap, and that'll be going out the door probably Monday. I'm gonna take a look at this. If you were, if you were in the Everything Attachments group, Everything Attachments channel on Facebook, if you're not, come on down. I put the link in the description, but uh, right here is the scene of the. The, the nasty carnage from yesterday. I posted a picture yesterday afternoon. Lisa, I hope you're watching. Got her black signature series land plane going out the door probably today, but uh, she requested uh, mine and Ted, Nate, Peanut, some of these awesome customers request us to sign it. So old Rodney in assembly had him a 
nice yellow paint marker in his back pocket. He gave it to me, little caps on it. I shake it a couple times, the whole top fell out of the barrel, ruined my favorite t-shirt. Got a little splatter here on my kicks. And uh, I don't know, that's just, that's why I spend most of my time in the office, unless I'm out here by myself. But anyway, right here we have some of our plows. That's our full size plow there, single bottom. And then we put it down on a bit of a smaller scale, a low profile scale, but still built like a plow should be. And I apologize to Somebody told me they didn't like me to be moving around so fast, and I just thought about that. I'm probably making somebody seasick with all this movement, but uh, I'll try to work on that. Anyway, here we have, uh, that's uh, part of that first 100 batch of Wicked 55s, still in process and assembly. We, uh, I've seen some new faces over here in assembly to try to speed this process up a little more. So we'll get it built up to where assembly and the whole process will stay kind of in sync. So this second shift added, it's, it's probably going to shake up the balance a little bit, but, uh, we're going, we're doing what we can for you guys right there. Some wicked sixties getting ready to roll out this first one he's on the second shift right here we have that's a wicked box blade getting ready to go it's been tacked right here's the second wave of wicked 55s there's the kit right there material you know you could spend you can spend about the same amount of money on another grapple from a, a couple companies probably and you really just you don't know what exactly you're getting but right here we are proud to show you what you are getting and this Wicked 55, the leading tube right there, it's not some cheap, easily bendable pipe that if you make a little wrong move, you're going to end up with a mangled grapple. So I've, uh, I've been seeing, you know, this time of year, the weak attachments start surfacing. So... I mean, they, these uh, these guys buying the the cheap stuff, you know, the stuff that they can get quick. It's hibernating for the winter, but when it comes out in the springtime, problems are going to start surfacing. So uh, some problems I've I've said it's going to start a long time ago. Guys are just starting to really use this stuff, doing some spring cleaning. And I'm already starting to see these cheap grapples. The guys are, uh, they're getting a little more than what they bargained for with that stuff. But I'm confident through our years of making this stuff and enhancing our grapples and just everything you're looking at, that EA, <laughs> we're in the best shape that we've ever been in that regard because so much of this stuff uh i mean it it's not it's not that it's weak to begin with but we just made it better we just continually make this stuff better and that's no exaggeration and i can show you exactly where how and why right there's a number check it out and i, I it's great that uh guys are telling me this i'm seeing it in the youtube video comments you know we saw your video and it's an easy choice that we want to make the right investment the smart investment for the long haul rather than just settling on something and that investment just crumbling 
when we really start to use it so that's what we're all about we're <laughs> we're not making this stuff for the guys that just want it now and want it cheap this is the real deal right here at EA and I'm I'm very proud to show it off right there some more another one of those disc arrows so we almost came around the whole factory with the tour right there uh, I was showing you the land shark little subcompact post hole digger that might not be the I don't think that's the smallest one that's probably a 6900 there but there's the beginning of those alright Chucky I skipped last week I gave you the Friday off to so these lasers could get a little break because I needed one but uh surely we're not going surely it's not going to be quiet back here this week I think it is so uh right there you see a oh I don't have to tiptoe around this laser do I because it's not running hey that's a half inch sheet of hard ox 450 see what it's been cutting out look at that looks like somebody just drew it with a pencil that's some wicked rippers wicked ripper shanks can't beat it money can't buy it unless it's at EA so uh, well Chucky has let us down for the Friday walk but uh, it's good to see these things have been cranking out some good parts right there looks like some extreme scrape blade parts tilt angle offset on our extreme compact and our extreme duty the cat one two scrape blades back here it's a lot of wicked end tines getting ready to get that nice bend to them on the big press hard ox USA so uh, this pretty much completes our Friday tour of the factory I hope you enjoyed it I did read some uh, suggestions from some guys that you know since we're gonna have our second shift rolling there uh, Monday through Thursday 10 hour days so I'm gonna try to I was gonna do it yesterday but it, yesterday was pretty wild so I didn't quite make it out here I'm gonna try to do a, a tour with the sparks flying with some people in the building so maybe you look forward to that for next week uh, let me know what else you want to see I mean I like I say I'm no youtuber our channels not monetized so we're not trying to profit from the views um, I am impressed by the number of views the number of you guys that are watching and look forward to this and let me know that you don't appreciate it when I don't do one but uh, I, I really uh, I thank you all for the support there's some box blade tubes that have been cut on our tube and laser that's something that it's a great asset here we can we can pretty much do what we want to as far as making components when I when I say that making components right there that's the extreme duty alternating depth lawn aerator plugger wheel so we've been getting those from a a supplier that also uh, we get our tractor weights from tractorweightsonline.com we do offer some weights for a lot of tractors but uh, they weren't able to supply us with the cast aerator wheels so uh, you know as you can tell we improvised and we'll be delivering those to our customers so 
anyway i'm i'm very glad you guys joined me on the friday walk and uh hope you keep tuned in you know click the like button let me know how you like it even if it ain't that nothing but a hey travis have a good weekend whatever just say hey i liked it i bet most of you didn't make it this far in this long video that i keep rambling on about but uh for you guys that did i do appreciate every second you watch us and all the support we get from you guys i can't i sound like a broker record every week but uh just keep it up if you can let me know give me some ideas for the future somebody said something about maybe interviewing one of our welders or an employee during the video i i might try to do that in the near future so in the meantime i hope you guys have a great weekend thanks for watching my voice is about spent uh we'll do it again soon and hopefully spring's finding its way to your neighborhood i got my shorts and t-shirt on we're gonna go grab some pizza for the family thanks for watching click those uh groups i'm gonna put down this uh description everything attachments on facebook the wicked grapple group come on it's a lot of fun travis talk to you later